Hello everyone, how are you today? Hope you are all doing well. Thank you for tuning in again to my channel, Tire Shining, and uh, I hope you've been having a good time during this period of stay home. Today I will be telling you a new story from the Bible. It's a story from the book of Daniel in the Old Testament part of the Bible. And I will be taking the story from Daniel chapter 5. It's about a story of a king of Babylon. His name was Belshazzar. King Belshazzar had a very big feast. He had a big elaborate party. And he had 1,000 guests. People that were highly esteemed in the society, people that everybody honored, came to the party. It was such a very big party. So you can imagine what you could find there. There were loads of food, loads of drink, loads of whatever you can imagine. You could think of what you think you would like to see in a party. And a lot of dance as well. Well, I hope you do enjoy listening and have a good time. Kobe says hi. Do you want to say hi again, Kobe? Please do enjoy listening. And remember, if you enjoy the stories, please remember to subscribe. Click on the link below. Share and like. And please tell your friends if you know anybody that might find this very useful. We always love to have people enjoy our story. The story of Belshazzar and the writing on the wall. There was once the king of Babylon, his name was Belshazzar. He had a big feast, a very elaborate celebration meal, and invited 1,000 nobles. His guests were highly honored in the whole kingdom and they were all, they were all having a great time at the party. They had lots of food, Yummy pies, biscuit, fruit salad, ice cream, pizza, and many dishes. There were lots of music all day. The singers sang beautifully. The pipers piped. The trumpeters were there. The drummers played beautifully. The ballerinas danced and the magician performed a big show. And the clown also came there and made everybody laugh with his funny jokes. It was such a beautiful night. And everybody had loads and loads of fun. At the evening meal, King Belshazzar called for the gold and silver cup that his father, King Nebuchadnezzar, had taken away from God's temple in Jerusalem. These were the consecrated cups that had been taken away from the Jewish temple in Jerusalem. Bring me the gold cups from Jerusalem temple, said the king. So the king and his guests drank from the special gold cups. Then they gave a toast. Praises be to the gods of gold and of silver and of bronze, wood and stone. Hail the king and his guests replied after him praises be to the gods of gold and of silver and of bronze wood and stone these were gods they have made for themselves but then something strange happened suddenly the fingers of a human hand appeared and wrote on the wall in the royal palace hall where the king was dining the king's face turned pale. He was so frightened as he watched the handwriting on the wall. What is this? asked the king, pointing to the wall. King Belshazzar was so scared and terrified. His legs wobbled and couldn't carry him. His knees were knocking. His guests couldn't understand what was happening. They were surprised when they saw the king's face. Call me all my wise men, magicians and astrologers, commanded the king. Can you tell me what the writing on this wall means? So they called his wise men and those who practice magic. And the astrologers who studied the heavens 
and try to figure out what things were going on. But none of them could read the writing on the wall or tell the king what it meant. So Belchazzar became even more terrified. Everywhere was quiet. Then the king's mother, the queen, came to the king. Long live the king, she said. Don't be afraid, your majesty. I know a man in your kingdom who has the spirit of the holy gods in him. He was a servant of your father, King Nebuchadnezzar. This man's name is Daniel. He has special wisdom and good sense just like the gods. Daniel has a clever mind and was chief of those who studied the heavens. He knows a lot of things and can explain hard puzzles. Send for him. He will tell you what the writing means. So Daniel was brought to the king. The king said to him, Are you Daniel, one of the prisoners of my father, King Nebuchadnezzar, that he brought here from Judah? I have heard so much about you and that the spirit of the gods is in you. So the king told Daniel about the writing on the wall and how his wise men and those who practice magic couldn't tell him what the writing means. Then the king said, I have heard that you are able to explain things and solve hard problems. Can you read and tell me what this writing on the wall means? If you can, I will dress you in royal purple clothes and put a gold chain around your neck and I will make you the third eyes commander in the kingdom. Daniel replied the king, he said, I don't want the gifts, King Belshazzar, but I will read the writing for you and tell you what it means. Then Daniel said, you Belshazzar, the son of Nebuchadnezzar, have been proud. You have taken your stand against the Lord of heaven. You and your nobles have drunk wine from the cups, from the special cups taken from God's temple that you brought. You also praise the gods you have made out of silver and gold, bronze and iron and wood and stone. Your gods can't see you or hear or understand anything, but you still honored them. You didn't honor God who owes your very life and everything you do in his hand. So he sent the hand that wrote on the wall. Wow, that was a big one. That reminds me of a song that they sing. I think you might know it, but it goes this way. He's got the whole world in his hand. 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 Yes, God's got the whole wild world in his hands. He's got you and me and everybody else in his hands. So let's get back to our story. And so Daniel continued. He said, here is what the writing says. Mene, mene, tekel pasin. That is in English. Numbered, numbered, weighed, divided. Then Daniel said, here is what it means. Belshazzar, God has counted the days of your rule as king and brought it to an end. Your rule as king is now finished. God has measured your rulership and is not pleased with it. So your power over your kingdom will be taken away from you. It will be given to the Medes and the Passions. The great party came to an end immediately and King Belshazzar commanded his servants to dress Daniel in royal purple cloth, and then he put a gold chain around his neck as he has promised. He also made Daniel the third highest ruler in the kingdom. But that very night, Belshazzar, the king of Babylon, was killed. His kingdom was given to a new king named Darius from the Medes.
And this brings me to the end of the story. I hope you do enjoy the story. Please, if you do, there's going to be a discussion on it. Lessons that we learned in part two. So please subscribe if you have not done. Click on the link below and subscribe and do like and share or share with your friends that you think will be blessed by these stories. And I look forward to seeing you in part two of the story so we can share the lessons that we have learned from the story. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you and speak.